Hello everybody, my name is John Hammond. Welcome back to another YouTube video on the All Army Cyber Stakes or ACI CTF that was going on this past week. So I want to showcase some more of these challenges for you guys. Uh, I'm down here at one of the ladder challenges that I was able to solve. It's called Partition Twice, Recover Once. Uh, it's worth 250 points and currently at the time of recording, it's Friday. The challenge competition ends on Sunday, so it might get a few more solves, but 105 solves currently in the miscellaneous category. It says, I think I may have overwritten my secure file store. Do you think you could recover the data for me? The password for the encrypted partition is secret1234 and we are given a file to download. So I'll copy that link. I will fire up a terminal and hop over to our directory that we've created for this challenge. Let's go ahead and make one specific to this guy. Let's call it partition twice recover once and let's hop into that directory. Let's w get that file down and it's cruising. Okay. So I didn't have a whole lot of difficulty with this challenge. I probably didn't do the crazy things that might be necessary for otherwise, you know, partitioning and stuff. Uh, I had this file, image.bin, and it's an ext4 file system. So I thought, well, let's be dirty. Let's just run friggin' binwalk on this. So I ran binwalk tag e on that image, and it found some Lux magic in there. So if I were to LS, you could see all the images and all the files that I was able to extract out of that. So I changed directory into that guy, and now I have this 0.ext. That's still seemingly the ext file system that I had. So what I actually went, to, went ahead and did was I ran binwalk one more time. But binwalk has some crazy arguments that you can pass to it to like force carve stuff out. And for some reason, I've committed these to memory because we needed to have them in Katana. But if you use binwalk tacky on the image or the file that you want to carve out of, you also specify attack capital M and a DD or a hyphen DD equals dot star. It'll just carve out friggin everything that it can. So you can see that Lux magic is still present, but now that I've actually gone ahead and extracted it, it should be present in there. We could check out the man page for binwalk and see really what those do rather than just me say them to you and like not even discuss what they are. If Binwalk is actually going to tell me what they are. Okay, yeah, Matryoshka, Matryoshka, I always say that wrong. Recursively scan extracted files. And the TAC DD is somewhere in here. I promise. Yeah, there we go. Extract type signature is given the files of extension ext and execute command. I just say, I don't care, get everything out, extract everything. So, now that I have that zero extracted page, I have this file, the original file system again, and this Lux encrypted file. So we know the password of this file because it tells us right in the challenge prompt, but we have to go ahead and decrypt it. So how do we do that? Let's just ask the internet, man. Decrypt Lux file. How to mount Lux encrypted file. You can see I've already kind of taken a look at this. It says I have a file and it's a Lux encrypted file. When I try to mount it, it says unrecorded file system, but I know the passphrase for this dump. How the heck do I do this? Uh, and they offer a good, good answer here. You can run mod probe, see if you actually have that crypt module included. If that doesn't error, then you should be fine. Then I should be able to go ahead and run this crypt setup command. So crypt setup, open the Lux file system type, the location of what we're looking for and what we want to call this thing. So I'll show it to you. What we can do is just simply run this, crypt setup open Lux, and it had, I think, five zeros in it? Yep. Desired name, I don't care. We'll just call it like, please sub. That's totally fine. Enter the passphrase, well, we know from the challenge prompt that is secret one, two, three, four. And I am not running as root, so it's not able to mount this. So let me sudo that command just one more time. Same passphrase, one, two, three, four takes just a second, but it will go ahead and put it together. Now you can see, I don't know, just barely if you could see, hey, Unity, my file system was like, whoa, I saw you just mount something. So if I go over into Media John, where it's going to automatically put some of the stuff, maybe it's not gonna show it to me. So let's get it in my file browser since that's created it there, the latest one. There we go. Now if I ls, okay, I've got this location here. I could change directory into that, and you probably already saw when we opened the little browser there, I've got this flag file and that will simply give me the flag. So that was that challenge. Maybe I should have done more. I don't know if the hints would have put me in a different direction, but if it's just a file system and I can carve stuff out of it, 
I'm going to use bin walk. I'm going to try foremost. I'm just going to like, hey, beat the thing up. And eventually it found just carving it out. Here's that Lux file that you need. And I can decrypt it with the given password. Now I've got the flag. Some quick research, some quick learning on the fly. That's that stuff. So a little bit of a quick video, but I wanted to showcase that challenge to you guys. It is worth a lot of points. It doesn't have a ton of solves. Maybe some people just haven't unlocked it yet, but uh, that one's not too bad. I want to showcase it to you. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press that like button. Maybe type in the comments, say, wow, this was neat, or wow, John, you suck. They're both the same to me. I don't really listen to either. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I love you. Subscribe, hit that bell, do the whole YouTube algorithm thing. Love to see you guys on Patreon, PayPal, Discord, LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, MySpace, Vine. Is that a thing? I don't know. Bye, everybody. With